In entertainment news, the Lagos State Government has affirmed its commitment to leveraging the potential of creative industries to enhance its economy and have made, in, uh, made significant investment in infrastructure, renovating key cultural sites and establishing new venues for arts and performances. Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Toke Benson Awoyinka, who disclosed this during a town hall meeting on Afropolis, noted that the efforts of the government are aimed at uh, ensuring that artists have the platforms they need to thrive. Benson Awoyinka emphasized the ministry's dedication over the past few years to supporting and nurturing the industry. To do best is to partner with the young creatives. Um, they're different, they're diverse, they're innovative, they're, they're, their thinking ability is beyond what we can ever think or imagine. So we want to stand behind and we want them to lead that space and that is what has happened today. You can see we're going to be standing solidly behind Kudus and we're going to stand solidly also behind so many of the Kuduses of this world. So it's just an opportunity for them to see that the government is there for them at any time that they need the government. And um, it's, it's an exciting time for us in Lagos this year. We have so many things lined up for the rest of this year and I think it's going to be a very, very busy last quarter of the year. And Afropolis is the one leading that space right now. She described Afropolis 2024 as more than just an event but a celebration of the rich cultural heritage, creativity and innovation of Lagos. Kudus Onikaku, the founder and artistic director of Apropolis, announced that the week-long cultural carnival is expected to attract both local and international tourists. And I think that we were here on Sunday night till midnight and we did not have any experience and you have not heard of any experience. We had the Lagos countdown and we sat in Oniru till the wee hours of the morning and there was no incident. Lagos is safe for every and all residents of the state commend the idea that uh, we have a ministry of tourism and culture. It's not automatically that tourism and culture, some people put information and culture, some people put whatever and culture, but the fact that he has put tourism and culture together, I thought it was a very smart idea because Lagos is not a city where people are going to come just for our beach or our skyscrapers or whatever. It's not because of what they want to come and see. It is the creative energy of this place that actually make people want to come here. So for me, let's really start doing that in a very, very deliberate way. And that's why. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.